Hello my fellow humans and welcome back to another daily dice where we ask a dice for a message and find out what that is. Keeping in mind that these are general readings so please take what resonates and leave what does not knowing that as you interact with the channel by liking, commenting, and subscribing down below. It does allow me an opportunity to directly connect with your energy and get you out more resonant readings. Also, if you are interested in supporting the channel further, you'll find all the links necessary below in the description box where you can email me for a personal reading and I'll get you out further information from there. You can also follow me on over to my podcast, which is just a fun, chill hangout session with yours truly. And I do hope to see you there. Memberships are now up and running, so if you're wondering out more information on those, there's a join button down below where the subscribe button is or used to be. When you click on that, It'll show you the three levels that I have available, as well as the options that come with each level. Awesome. So with that being said, if you're wondering about the new view here, <laughs> I'm in the process of traveling. Everything's packed away. So this is what we have. All right. So once I get settled, everything will go back to your regularly scheduled program. And with that being said, let's just get into it and find out what is today's daily dice source. What messages do you have for my fellow humans? What would you like them to know? What is today's daily dice message source? Rolling, rolling, rolling. We've got the 12th house. We have Cancer and we have Pisces. Well, there's Pisces and Cancer and we have Neptune. Something that's hidden will be revealed through you nurturing yourself. That's what I'm hearing so loudly right now. So we're just going to... Yeah, we're just going to tap into this. You're in the process of healing. This is very deep spiritual healing. All three of these together. There's this healing that is coming through with your emotions, with your well-being. You've been stuck on something for a while. For a while. like, And not in a bad way or anything like that. It's just that there's something that was really down deep in the folds of your being. And it feels like something has jolted you into seeing it, like actually looking in the cracks, right? It's like, oh, hey, there's a crack right there and there's something sticking out. What is that? And you go over there and you start pulling on it and you pull out this part of yourself that you buried for a long time. And, you know, it, it could be that you were treating yourself a certain way. You were feeling guilty about something, but it does feel like some sort of emotion here. Right? This is a very watery energy. It's like a deep emotion that you had not faced in a long time. Like, it, And it feels like it's connected to some sense of fear, right? Like the reason you buried it so deep. Obviously, we do that, right? Because we're afraid of it. We're like, no, I can't face that. That is too much for me to look into right now. That is too much for me to deal with. Just go hide somewhere. Let me dust you underneath the carpet. Let me hope that I never have to face you again. And now your journey has brought you back to this something that you have buried deep within you. And it's like you're also in this place of saying, like, it's not that scary. It's not that scary. It was an illusion that it was so scary. Right. And through like comforting and being kind to yourself and loving yourself like you could be doing meditations here recently that have been all about healing your inner child uh like really taking care of yourself at a time when you didn't have somebody there to support you like i do see images of you as an adult hugging your inner child comforting your inner child and reminding them that you're here for them now that you are their protector and that we're no longer in that situation we no longer have to fear that situation i'm gonna be here giving you everything that you've ever needed and it's it's like through that you're actually seeing a part of yourself that you had forgotten Right? This could be an old dream that's coming back into play here. This could be an old version of yourself that's very creative and very outgoing and fun and loving. Also, you could be getting messages, very, like, very vivid messages through your dreams right now. Like, opening up to your dreaming, uh, your ability to dream and heal yourself through your dreams right now. So this is a very powerful time for you in regards to the dream world as well as your waking world and taking care of your emotional well-being. Right? And that's that's powerful. That's a very powerful place to be. 
no longer letting the illusions of the world control you, but it's, like, more or less, like, if you have one of those days that's just kind of, like, awry, which we all do, even, even though we've worked hard on ourselves and we've come into a higher vibrational state of mind, like, all of us have those days that really just feels like it's setting us back, right? And maybe before you go to bed, you ask, hey, show me the message. What do I need to know? What What is today showing me? What do I need to learn, right? Yeah, rituals here. Prayers are important things for you or asking for help or doing those little things that make a difference, you know, like moon rituals, sun rituals, all these things that make a difference in your life. It's like you're going back to that and it's like bringing you some sense of peace and so you're asking source for this help show me my dreams what do i need to know what messages are you bringing to me that i'm not getting during the day and you may have very vivid dreams and you write them down and in writing them down it's like you gain a deeper understanding of exactly what's going on i cannot make this up shaman ancient healing wisdom on the bottom this wants to be out we're gonna leave it out right there that is so powerful coming through right now wow right exactly what i'm saying like there's a lot of deep healing coming through here that is so incredible i love when source is like yep i got you let me help you let me show you <laughs> Some difficulties. Saturn here, the planet of tough love, feeling restricted, experiencing struggle, learning hard work and patience. This is you going back to that younger self and saying, we don't have to be afraid anymore. Right? And Saturn with, um, with Capricorn energy. Capricorn is the father of the Zodiac and Cancer is the mother of the Zodiac. So it's like becoming the parent that you never had. Right? Or that you always wanted. Right? Let's get some career cards and see how it's affecting your career. And they want a love card. Okay. Offerings. You will be offered a new position or investment opportunity. Think about it and research it carefully before accepting. So no need to rush into anything here is what the message is. Even with your, with your career, there's no need to rush into anything. So we have saving face. You need to grin, you may need to grin and bear it to maintain respect and keep your job, or you need to smile and make nice to get the position that you want. And I feel like this is the energy that you've been in is the grin and bear it. Like you've been in this place of really like just, okay, this is how it's been for a long time. This is who I've been for a long time, but there's something that's coming to the surface here where you're like i don't need to be like that anymore date get back out there meet someone new setting a date um date online yeah so maybe you're meeting new people you're letting go of an old love let's get a couple of the yin yang cards here self-care yes i love that all right what else source would you like to say for this reading okay that one's sliding away over there okay maybe that one will take it we have guarded and vulnerability. Yeah, so you're letting go of being so, it's almost like being a stickler, either with your love, with yourself, with your life, with whatever it is that's been holding you back. There's like the stickler energy, like I can't be who I want to be, but self-care is helping you to become the you you want to become. Let's put that there because I feel like that all goes together. And then let's get one shadow aspect here, because these are always good to get on readings like this. Okay, this one is the one they want. Let's see what's coming through. Needs. If emotional needs aren't being met, it's time to reassess. Touch is important too, and look at how she's hugging herself. And this is what I was saying earlier, like I'm getting an image of you hugging yourself. Look, she's even hugging herself here. Look. So there's something about you learning how to take care of your own needs. Let's put those there. And let's take a look at these. Let's see what we've got. Responsibility. Yeah, you're learning to be responsible for yourself. Right? Like, no one's responsible for how I feel. I'm responsible for how I feel. And that's something that you're learning about yourself. And there's a new passion here. You're setting your world on fire. Right? This girl is on fire. Yeah. <laughs> right? You're lighting yourself up. You're knowing now. It's like knowing that I can be who I need to be without fear of. Right? I can meet my needs. I know how to meet my needs. Let's put these over here. 
I am my responsibility, right? Because you are. If you don't take care of you, no one else is going to take care of you. And that's a hard truth. Yes, we have house two, physical securities, possessions, material values, and self-worth. Okay, what is going on here is you're healing something that had to do with your self-worth. And this is something that's deep, deep, deep within your soul. And when you're letting it go, like you have a brand new passion that's coming out here. So we have planner. It says take financial inventory and see what needs changing. Event planning, project manager, or professional organizer. It's crucial you make a plan to make each day count. And so here they just want you to keep showing up for your self-care. Keep showing up for your love for yourself. Okay, like that's a very important part of your journey. Oh, teddy bear, interested in you, blooming romance, flirting and wanting to date. And this goes to those of you that maybe you've been holding on to a love for a really long time and you're realizing like it's just time to let go. It's just time to say sayonara, <laughs> sayonara, pal. Like I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Like that's all I keep hearing. I'm just done. I, I want to take care of myself and to take care of myself, I need to move away from this. Self-love self-care i cannot make this up we have creation and intentions you're doing a beautiful job of taking care of yourself here source is so happy for you and that's what's bringing this deep caring in you're getting assistance from your spiritual guides oh i love this reading i love this reading so much you are in a very beautiful place let's see what else here you're letting go of the ego the vanity and the pride and maybe that's what was coming with holding on to something whatever this was right and an ego again is that energy of what i was saying like you compartmentalize this emotion that's our emotional ego and sometimes that's hard for us to see because we're like, well, I'm not an egoic person. It's like, no, 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 that's not what that's saying. It's just saying that your emotional ego said, I'm going to store this away so I can protect myself by never feeling that again. But unfortunately, the unfortunate thing is, is that because of that, ego ends up putting us in recurring situations like that so that it actually, it like cements that idea that this is how people are. Or this is how situations are like they're not ever going to reach out to me. I'm always going to be ghosted. I'm always not going to like I'm never going to be enough like all these things. It gets cemented when when our vanity and pride or our emotional ego is taking over here. And so that's what you're letting go of. You're letting go of saying like you're basically saying to the ego, you're not right. OK, like you don't know what's going on. I know what's going on. I'm here to take care of my inner child myself to love myself to take care of my needs so that i can have what it is that i want and healing is become it's is like that's the fruit of your efforts is deep hit deep healing wisdom forgiving Ooh, they didn't mean to hurt you but you're holding on to it forgiving helps you get past it so the lesson here has been all about forgiveness deep forgiveness okay that's the lesson here. And I do feel like you are learning that. That's something that you're ready to embrace. And I feel like through this, you're also ready to embrace yourself. And it's like part of your self-care and your self-love is saying, I'm tired of holding on to this. You know, maybe they did what they did by an accident and it's no use for me being mad or holding revenge or, you know, resentment against them any longer. Like they're not coming forward. They're not saying what I need them to say. They're not saying what I want them to say. So in turn, I can't tell them what I need to tell them. So the only thing I have left to do is to let go, focus on myself and to forgive the situation because it's over with. It's done. Bye bye. Right. And that's what's happening here absolutely a beautiful reading i'm very excited for you if you feel like this is your reading leave a little fire emoji down below and say i release the past to embrace my passions so you let source know that you're calling in this higher vibrational love i'm gonna go ahead and leave it there and get on out of here leave me a thumbs up i do want to take a quick second though to thank your guide your spirit messengers your angel source and my guides for coming together to give us this incredible reading and until next time stay human Bye.